President Trump is forced to clean up yet another Obama mess, this time in the former president's own backyard. FBI agents will be joining their fellow officers in the Chicago Police Department in a new partnership to crack down on the intolerable gang violence in the Windy City. President Trump has ordered the Chicago Division of the FBI to lend a hand to their brothers in blue who were attempting to tackle the epidemic of violence on the streets of Chicago. Chicago's Democrat mayor Rami Emanuel, has been unable or unwilling to curtail the violence, forcing President Trump to send in the big guns in an attempt to shut down the gangbangers. Chicago has increasingly come to resemble a war zone, as various gangs fight to control the lucrative street markets. At the center of the problem is extreme gun violence by gangs who easily smuggle firearms from across the nation. Chicago experienced 762 homicides last year alone, with over 4,000 people wounded despite having the strictest gun laws in the country. Apparently, criminals ignore gun laws and sneak their weapons into the city. Who would have thought only law-abiding citizens are prevented from obtaining firearms, ensuring that only criminals are armed? Hard-working residents are left defenseless, as criminals are emboldened by their superior weapons. The FBI plans to work directly with the Chicago Police Department to tackle street crime head-on. They will focus on building trust in gang-ridden communities, while also targeting the deadliest criminals. The FBI sometimes battles a perception that we are only interested in terrorism or public corruption or large drug trafficking organizations, explained Michael Anderson, the special agent leading the Chicago division of the FBI. The fact is, we are interested in those things, but in Chicago we are also getting down to the street level to address violent crime and we are specifically going after the trigger pullers and shot crawlers. Communities are being hijacked by a relatively small percentage of people, continued Anderson. The overwhelming majority of residents are hard-working citizens going to work, going to school, trying to go about their daily lives. These communities are under siege, and they are desperately looking for help. President Trump is keeping another campaign promise to maintain rule of law, restoring safety to our city streets. After decades of Democrat rule in Chicago, and even a Democrat president from Chicago, the city of Chicago is desperate for help. Thankfully, President Trump is committed to restore law and order. Why do you think Chicago was allowed to become a war zone? Share this on Facebook and Twitter and let us know what else you think. And don't forget to help support us by subscribing and joining us on Patreon by clicking on our Patreon link in the description box down below. Let the world know your thoughts on this. Conservative fighters helped contribute to this report. Thanks for watching and goodbye from all of us here.